The Four Dragons, The Chinese Tale Long ago, there were no rivers or lakes on the earth, only the eastern sea. In this sea lived four dragons, the long dragon, the yellow dragon, the black dragon, and the pearl dragon. One day, as they flew to the sea to the sky and played in the clouds, the pearl dragon pointed down to the earth and cried out for the others to come and look. Hey, fellow dragons, come and take a look. On the earth, they saw many people putting on fruits and cakes and burning incense sticks while they prayed. One white-haired woman kneeling on ground in thin boy on her back was praying. Please send the, the rain quickly, God of heaven, to give our children rice to eat. For there had been no rain for a very long time, and the crops had withered. The grass turned yellow, and the fields cracked under the scorching sun. How poor the people are, said the yellow dragon. We will die if it doesn't rain soon. The long dragon agreed and suggested that they go and beg the jade emperor for rain. He then leaped into the clouds and flew towards the heavenly palace, with the other dragons following close behind. The jade emperor was in charge of all the affairs in heaven and on earth, and he was very powerful. He was not pleased to see the four dragons rushing into the palace. Why do you come here instead of saying the same baby yourself? The long dragon stepped forward and said, the crops on earth are withering and dying, your majesty. I beg you to send the rain down quickly. The jade emperor pretended to agree with him and responded. All right. You go back first and I'll send rain tomorrow. The four dragons thanked the emperor and flew happily back to the sea. Thank you, your majesty. Ten days passed and no and no rain came to earth. The people suffered more and more, some eating bark and roots, others forced to eat white clay when they had nothing more to eat. Seeing this, four dragons felt sorry for the people because they knew the Jade Emperor cared only about pleasure and never looked at the people to heart. They decided they could only rely on themselves to relieve the people from their misery. Seeing the vast sea, the black dragon said he had an idea. Look, there is plenty of water in the sea where we live. We should scoop it up and spray it towards the sky. The water will be like raindrops and come down to save the people and their crops. Good idea! Said the other. But, the long dragon added, We will be blamed if the Jade Emperor learns of this. I will do anything to save the people. The Pearl Dragon declared. The other dragons agreed. And they flew down to the sea, scooped up water in their mouths, and flew back into the sky where they sprayed water all over the earth. The four dragons flew back and forth, making the sky dark, and before long the sea water became rain and poured down to the sky. It's raining! It's raining! People cried! Our crops will be saved! They leapt with joy as the wheat stalks raised their heads and the grass was straightened up. Whee! Out of the sea discovered what the dragons had done and reported it to the Jade Emperor, who became enraged and ordered the heavenly generals and their troops to arrest the four dragons. Being outnumbered, the dragons could not defend themselves and were soon captured and brought to the heavenly palace. Get four mountains so they are upon them so they can never escape. The Emperor ordered. The mountain god used his powers to make four mountain, mountains fly from afar and press them down on the four dragons, imprisoning them forever. The dragons never regretted their decision and determined to continue to do good for the people. But the nymph seemed a magical being that remained indifferent to the emperor's decision. Her words are cold and severe. Your cruelty is equal to your arrogance. Your beauty is always unsurpassable. The king stepped forward, but Xin Jing moved back. Look well to those mountains, because you will never see them like that ever again. What can you do? You cannot do anything to revoke my sentence. The nymph cannot undo the sentence, but she wanted the brave dragons to be known forever, so she turned them to the four great rivers of China. The black dragon turned into the Heilongjiang River. The yellow dragon turned into the Huanghe River. The long dragon turned into the Sangjiang River. And the pearl dragon turned into the Zhujiang River.